And you guys have been in this position before in previous years. You know, things aren't going great early in the season, and you get to a spot and you just figure out how to win it. Did you feel that? Do you talk about that this week? Did you? Nah, no. Nah, I mean, you know, it's, it's still early. Um, you know, it's only week six, so you know, we we can still write this shit without having to string off nine straight wins. You know, so today was important. You know, it was every bit of a must win without technically being a must win. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, we've all been waiting to see IG kind of turn it loose. We know he's a blazer. Uh, reminds us reminds us a lot of Raheem Mostert. Uh, so, I think he Bobby T said he's an eyelash slower, but I don't know. The kid can run, so he said he was going down on purpose. So, we give him that. <laughs> when you. you Touchdown, a kickoff return for a touchdown. They score again. What was, in your mind, what was kind of the conversation with the team, you know, given the losses you've had recently? Well, um, you know, each game is different. And we just had so much success on the offensive side of the ball. It's like, no matter how loud they got, you know, never just lost confidence. We knew that, you know, we didn't shoot ourselves in the foot with dumb penalties or, you know, we can operate in the noise like we had been doing. We knew that we would you know, um, draw the ball down there and get in scoring position. You scored in the red zone. And we scored in the red zone. You know, that's a, that's a big thing. You know, obviously we still kicked a few field goals. We like to see those get into the box. But, yeah, um, that's one of the things that we're working on. What do you see just from the offensive line as a whole? I mean, today averaged 6.9 yards of carry and no sacks. How do you feel like that group is coming together? Um, I think we're gelling pretty good. Um, you know, we're pretty much the same group outside of Pooney, but Pooney plays like he's been here a few years, so uh, we got lucky with that. But, you know, we're gelling. You know, we just got to – obviously, as long as we can keep Brock upright, he's going to carve the defense up. As long as we can, you know, get the get the running backs to the line of scrimmage clean, they're going to they're gonna fall forward. They're going to get yards. So, you know, we're, we're not where we want to be, but we we're, we are on a good track. Trent, you mentioned Pooney, a guy who never played right guard in college, and he comes in and this new position, and he seems like – how, how amazing has that been to see? That's amazing. I, I didn't know he didn't play right guard in college, so I just learned something. Yeah, that, which is crazy because, I mean, he literally has the makings of a Pro Bowl uh, pro player at that position. So, um, But he, he's, like I said, he's a God sin man. He's a, um, you know, really, really good kid, um, really, really professional. Um, he, gained, he gained his teammates' respect just by the way he carried himself. What was your view on Brock's three touchdown passes? You know, he had the one to Debo, the two to Kittle. So from your point of view, are you engaged? Are you seeing the ball in the air? Yeah, the I'm, in, I'm engaged. Yeah. I think I seen Debo's, um, you know, because the DN I was supposed to be blocking was chasing him in coverage. So yeah. I had a pretty good vantage point on that. Um, you know, I was kind of nervous because I know 53 can run. But, you know, obviously Debo got the full stride and it was game over. So, but, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, Brock, as long as we keep him up right, as long as we keep the pocket clean, I mean, he's going to make the right decisions. He's going to put us in good position. So, um, you know, we're not surprised by that. It's a game. It's another game. I mean, it's not like we can get payback for losing in the Super Bowl. That, that ship is sailed. So, it's another game. Uh, we got to come out and try to play complimentary football. We got to – obviously, we know um, what type of team that is, one of the best teams in the league. You know, all-star quarterback, you know, great coach. So it's going to be a tough game regardless. So, um, you know, we're going to take take these three days off and regroup and come try to put a complete game together. All right. All right. All right. Appreciate y'all.